So firstly, thank you, Council General, for the invitation. Um, it's great to be back in the United States again and uh, to give you a presentation about uh, the science and the behind the fish. I thought I'll show you a little bit more about how the fishery is carried out and how the fish is actually processed because that gives you an idea of the scale of what's going on and also how um, how it's prepared. The traditional way was of course to dry it, make it into stockfish and that was very important and still is an important export product but in the historical times it was important because it was a staple food that allowed for instance the Vikings to go on long sea voyages so without the stockfish Leif Erikson wouldn't have been the first European to discover Vinland to see America. So the cod was like instrumental to the success of the Vikings. They wouldn't be brave barbarians without it. So this is an important graph. It shows the development of the cod stock in Norway from 1946, from the end of the Second World War until now. And there are three lines here. One is the red, and that shows the total stock size, which is currently at slightly below 3 million tons. And then you see the blue line, or the green line I explained first, that's the spawning stock, that's the part of the population that's mature, that goes actually out and reproduces every year. And the blue line is recruits, that's how many fish are produced every year. And getting this information is vital to understanding the development of the stock, but also to understand if the stock is above or below what is called safe biological limits, so that you can stop the fishery before you reach an over-exploitation, before it goes extinct, or before it becomes too small. Currently, you can see that it's almost at record high levels. So the cod stock currently is a very healthy situation. Sometimes people misinterpret what they see. They show a picture of a large fish catch, and then they say one reason the oceans could be empty in a few decades. And I don't know where this picture is from, but it might have been from a very sustainable, one of those fisheries that are very sustainable. You could have easily taken a picture of like this from a cod catch. They are pretty large. One boat, small boat, would typically deliver 30 tons a day if they're lucky in their fishery. And showing a picture of all that fish, it's a lot of fish, but it's not unsustainable. That's not threatening to uh, empty the oceans in a few decades. So I get a little bit annoyed by seeing that, and in kind of today's terms, it's um, what I would call fake news. <laughs> this is, um, and it, but to be serious, it's misinformation, it's a misinterpretation of this. 